This uh, came from you in the mail. It's from that lawyer, Cooper Sachs. Now, power sure do love leaving cliffhangers, clues, easter eggs and breadcrumbs, especially towards the back end of a season, but one that they've been playing with since the early stages of season 3, which goes all the way back to power, is Junior Valdez, who was introduced as a DEA agent, but later worked his way into the task force. He was also the last person to receive a mystery gift from Cooper Sachs. Sachs may be dead, but the writers have still found a way of keeping him around, and he's had one hell of an impact from beyond his grave. But this flash drive is different compared to what he left Monet, 2-Bit and Jenny Sullivan. And let's not assume this USB just has one piece of evidence. Cooper Sacks almost had a decade to gather all kind of evidence and information. From Tariq admitting he killed Ghost, Detective Whitman's police file, a recorded conversation or two from maybe a recording device. Honestly, who knows with Cooper Sacks? This was a character who was a mainstay on power for 9 seasons. And the writers really do have a golden opportunity to even tie this right back to power. To give us even a deeper backstory of just how long Cooper Sacks has been collecting dead. He was a character who knew the consequences of the game, because he saw what happened to his previous task force, so if he were to ever go down, he was going to take as many as he could with him. Most of the same Patricks, which we all know, have made his life a living hell for 9 years. Now the rest of this video will be split into 4 parts. I'm going to run through a brief history of what Cooper Sacks is capable of from his time on power, and why it makes sense as to why he'd hold some dangerous information. Now we're also going to run through the failed Rico case, followed by why he'd give Junior the flash drive when everybody else received letters, and the question is, out of all the people, why Junior? But also why Junior could be working closely with Detective Don Carter in this new look task force in Power Book 2 Ghost Season 4. Now, Cooper Sacks is a character who's never been afraid to push the line of ethical boundaries when it came to his job as a prosecutor, and just as a quick reminder, this is what he was capable of. In power, he was after James St. Patrick and his criminal organisation. After Joe Proctor had become his lawyer and was protected ghost from his crimes, he went after Proctor in Season 6. Sachs wanted Lindsay Proctor to put a bug on Elisa Marie's backpack to catch some conversations, and this was done through a unicorn which was actually a recording device off the books. Cooper Sacks is a character who was driven by self-interest and justice. He wanted to put James St. Patrick behind bars by any means necessary, even if it meant planting evidence. This is what Cooper Sacks was capable of and the lengths he went to because sometimes the justice system, especially in power, needs a kick up the backside. There's sometimes a justice system. He's a fucking kick in the ass. Oh, and he's definitely not wrong. Ever since the beginning of power, we all know how law enforcement have come out second best, especially against the St. Patrick's, and are we surprised that they failed yet again with another case? Definitely not. They had the complete investigation board with every single player and every single murder, with Tariq and Monet at the top of the organisation. They had the Tahada family and the known associates, Rashad Tate, Davis, Effie and Braden Weston. They'd connected the deaths of Ramirez, Mecca and Detective Whitman to Monet. Jabari and Bars were connected to Tariq, but question marks remained over Carrie's death which was classed as a suicide, along with the recent death of Lorenzo Tejada. But they didn't have a single shred of evidence to go on apart from Effie's attempted murder on Lauren, who identified her in episode 8. Now, earlier on in the case, when Junior joined the task force, they did make some headway in connecting the Jamaica Ad Boys product, the product that was found on Stansfield rooftop, to the product that was being sold on Wall Street. That was thanks to Junior who disguised himself as a homeless man, and where he saw Tariq St. Patrick for the first time in power. Where they failed with their case was a combination of lies and manipulation from within law enforcement and threats from the drug organisation, but Jenny Sullivan definitely has to take a fair share of the blame. She kept Lauren in her home in protective custody while she tried to get this Rico off the ground and arrest everybody connected to this drug organisation, but in doing so she manipulated and lied to Lauren time and time again, until she got fed up and went to find out the truth for herself. Jenny was warned in season 2 and she was warned again in the final letter that Sax left her. His gift to Jenny was freedom, let Tariq go because nothing ever good comes out of going after a St. Patrick. While he told Jenny to let it go, Sax was playing just as dirty from beyond his grave. By planting false information to leaking locations, he caused absolute chaos from within the drug organisation. And what we saw unfold in episodes 9 and 10 was thanks to Cooper Sax. And this brings me on to the flash drive that he left Junior. In episode 10, we saw Paz Valdez return worried because Junior didn't come home. She also said how Angela would have been proud of him and that's all Angela ever wanted for Junior. She was the one who was paying for him to go to school in power until he was thrown into turmoil when she died and when she was linked to Go's criminal organisation. But she came bearing a gift, a flash drive from Cooper Sachs. Now the first question I do think we should be asking before we even dive deep into what could be in the flash drive is why Junior. He gave Moni a letter which caused confusion around Tariq which also had Tasha's location. He did the same with 2-Bit because this caused more chaos for Tariq and the St. Patrick's. His last gift for Jenny was to tell her to let the white whale go, 
But why did Cooper Sacks leave what I was on here for Junior Valdez, the nephew of Angela Valdez? Now let's think about it this way. If this had any incriminating evidence on Tariq St. Patrick or the drug organization, then this is something I'm sure he would have left Jenny Sullivan or Blanca Rodriguez. So what did he leave on the flash drive? Let's not forget, Sachs was someone who worked closely with Junior's aunt Angela Valdez and he watched her being buried twice. And no doubt, he wants to bring down Tariq. But as I mentioned at the beginning, I don't think it's just one piece of evidence. While he was a prosecutor, Davis told him at the end of season 1 a ghost, bring everything with him. And he had access to a hell of a lot of files and resources. He had the video recording of Tariq admitting he killed Ghost, Detective Whitman's police file. And I go back to something I mentioned after episode 6. Uh, you, you can have my watch. I mean, it was a gift. First of all, how dare you? Second of all, that shit is trash as fuck. For some reason, there just seems to be a bit of a fixation of watches in the Power Universe. There was 2-Bit who stole Ghost's watch in Power. The Rolex Lauren was wearing was a wire, to Kane taking the Western family watch and Sack saying his watch was a gift. I don't know what it is, but they may be leaving some breadcrumbs of some sort, and Sax's watch could genuinely be another. It's also why I laid the foundation by going through the recording device that was planted on Lisa Marie's backpack. Sax is known to do shady shit off the books, and with him knowing he was eventually going to go down, I really wouldn't be surprised if he started recording conversations early as power, because as I mentioned earlier on in the video, this is a golden opportunity for them to tie this into power. Perhaps Sax recorded Tommy admitting he killed Angela, who knows, there are so many things that could be on this USB, because Sax knew who killed Angela, who killed Ghost, he knew almost everything. But one thing's for sure, we can only assume what's on this flash drive is something that will put Junior on the path to hunt down Tariq St. Patrick, and being a Valdez, he may feel like he owes it to Angela, because Paz did blame Angela's death on Ghost. But let's flip the perspective. If it wasn't for Ghost leaving Paz a sizable inheritance, then Junior wouldn't have got his education, because Angela's pension and benefits were stopped because of her involvement with Ghost. So could Junior even be an ally for Tariq? I do think it's worth having the conversation, especially considering how Angela eventually turned over to the dark side. You got the devil inside. I thought you were one of the good guys. Although I do think it's too early to say with Junior, but let's not forget how he's in this position because he could have gone down a very different path. A path which he was familiar with because he did say he knew people who could have James St. Patrick dealt with in power. But this USB could have so much which days all the way back to power, Davis admitting he was the one who committed the manslaughter. But let's be real, whatever we think it is, twist it upside down, turn it 360 and the power writers are probably laughing at us for even trying to guess. But one thing's for sure, Sax is causing even more mayhem for season 4 with Junior and Detective Don Carter will just add a bit of extra spice. Detective Don Carter is a rising NYPD officer who was on track to become police commissioner until his wife was killed in a crossfire between rival drug gangs. Vowing to make the street safer, Carter traded in his tie for a Kevlar vest and now leads an elite NYPD task force that elicits concrete results against drug-related violence. While his achievements are noteworthy public recognition, nothing can bring back his lost love. Now, Detective Don Carter, in my opinion, will be someone who's not afraid to push the boundaries. He's going to be tough. He probably won't be afraid to bend the law. And I assume Junior will be working with his task force. So I'm intrigued to see how they work together because I'm sure a lot of Don Carter's move will be personal, not business. But drop all your thoughts down below and let me know what you think is on this flash drive. I do think this is a golden opportunity to tie this all the way back to power with Sax collecting a hell of a lot of dirt. So drop all your thoughts down below in the comment section. And as always, thanks you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.